All right, next up, we're going to talk about eukaryotic cells. Now, eukaryotic cells are going to contain membrane-bound organelles that are going to be responsible for housing and storing that DNA. They're also going to contain specialized organelles to help carry out individual um, tasks or pursuits. And then finally, a plasma membrane, which is going to be responsible for separating the cell contents from the environment, regulate the passage of materials in and out of the cell, and is going to be ultimately composed of a phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins. Eukaryotic cells, interestingly, are actually going to be much larger than prokaryotic cells. Would you expect that this means that they are going to be more efficient or less efficient than smaller bacterial cells? I'm going to let that hang in the air. Um, so they are much larger than prokaryotic cells. However, they are going to be compartmentalized. They're compartmentalized, which means that they contain very small structures called organelles, which are going to carry out specific functions and isolate um, reactions or certain reactions from other reactions to help maintain and increase efficiency within the cell membrane. There are going to be two classes of organelles that we're going to talk about in this course. The first is going to be the endomembrane system. These are going to be organelles that communicate with one another. Um, we're going to see that they're going to pass information from one to the next. They're all going to be responsible for ultimately um, uh, uh, storing, recognizing, reading, and utilizing that genetic information housed with inside the nucleus. Then there are going to be the energy-related organelles. The energy-related organelles are going to be um, responsible for producing energy, things like mitochondria and chloroplasts. These are going to be independent of the endomembrane system, and they are self-sufficient. They can carry out and do their job whether or not they are receiving any information from the endomembrane system. That's going to be it for our introduction into eukaryotic cells. Please let me know if you have any questions.